Hello there and welcome to part 3 of this tutorial series in which we are finally going to post some tweets and also post tweets that contain images. I try to keep it as short as I can so let's dive into it and see how far we get and also if you have any questions or comments let me know in the comment section below. So what we need to do is we're going to define a function that will be post tweet. Self-explanatory and normally when you post a tweet you need the tweet content. We're going to keep it even simpler and we're going to pass here text. So this is what we require in order to post a tweet. And the posting this tweet is actually all we need is api.update underscore status. We're going to update it based on the text that we've received. So to cover it as simple as we can, uh, this is really, a, I would say, one line of code that is actually part of the function. And once you have this, if you already have a database of tweets that you would like to post, you can just run it through a simple for loop and they will be posted based on, for example, if you want to use time sleep to have some time between the, the tweets or you can uh, define uh, another way of working that, that makes sense for you. But this function is actually everything that you need to post tweets. So the content or the text is the only um, part that's still missing um, as for example, we're going to post a tweet that would state this is the first tweet ever. Well, maybe not ever. And let's see if this works. So let's go back to the profile, refresh. We have one tweet. This is the first tweet ever. Well, maybe not ever. So it works perfectly fine. Now let's focus on the second step and that is if we post a tweet but we also want to add an image to it. So define, let's save it as upload image or media. Maybe that makes more sense. We still need the text, although this is something that's optional. You can always um, skip that part by just you know using an empty, no, no text in, in fact. Um, and we also need some file name that will be uploaded or the image itself. Here you can have, uh, I've specified only one file name, but if you want to upload more than one image, you can have file name two, for example, uh, and upload upload two images. First, we need to have this media. So media would be equal to api.media upload file name. And now we're going to use this same part. So api update status, of course, apart from the text. Now we need to have the media as well. And here we have something else that we need to pass as well. That's the media IDs. So it's plural because you can have more than one image, but it takes a list of um, media ID strings. So you can only, you can pass more than one, but you can also pass only one, which is uh, the case for us. So media dot media underscore ID underscore string and we have our image also part of this uh, update status. So upload media, our text would be, this is the first image uploaded. And then we would like to have here the file name. Now, if you go back to the folder, I have this image to upload. I think it's JPEG file and not sure if I fully agree with it, but in any case, as for this tutorial, it would be a perfect image to upload. So image to upload dot JPEG. Image to upload dot JPEG. Now, if we run this, let's go back and refresh. We should have two tweets and here's our first image uploaded. Now, if you want to find some sort of a simple project for you, um, what you can do is, for example, um, have some folder that is full with images uh, and maybe you add new images uh, as you find something interesting and then have a bot that would upload the first image in the folder and then either remove it from the folder or move it to another folder. So we, the same image would not be uploaded more than once yet you would still keep uh, posting images. So that's a simple bot that you can try to create. Um, and I've seen a lot of them, especially around, uh, I think, motivational quotes and inspirational quotes. So 
it, it is possible to do that. And I think uh, if you're in the process of learning how this works, that would be that would be a great example. So that would be all regarding this tutorial. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.